Each school has a designated day of the week that supplies are ordered and delivered. To determine your school's day, look at your SOP manual in the Forms section and then turn to the Supply Order Standard Operating Procedure. Find your school's name from the list so you know what day of the week to expect supplies and when to order supplies. Supplies are to be ordered on the same day of the week they are delivered. Schools will use a tool called the Supply Order Tracker. It is a booklet that you will use to help keep track of what you already ordered and what you are currently ordering. Supply orders will be placed online via the school kitchen tablet, which we will go over later. This tracker helps you keep organized. Each school will receive the supply order tracker at the beginning of each school year. The supply order tracker takes the place of a supply order sheets that were previously faxed to FPC. Let's take a closer look at this form. At the top, the day of the week is listed is the day that supplies are to be ordered and delivered. In this example, the school receives supplies on Monday. Also at the top in purple are the different supplies that can be ordered. The name of the supply and the case quantity is listed. For example, bowl, foam, 10 ounce, contains 1,000 bowls in a case, and meal kits come in 500 in a case. Now, let's explore the left side of the supply order track reform the order date is the date you must complete the online supply order form, which is due by 2 p.m. The date of delivery is the date the order will be delivered. Days order used are the dates the supplies on this order will be used. Supply orders are to be placed two weeks before the order is delivered. In this example, we are going to fill out the supply order for the order date of August 21st. We can see that that order is for the delivery date of September 4th, meaning that this is the date we will receive the order and we'll be using this for three serving days, September 9th, 10th, and 11th. Those dates are important tools in determining how much to order. We will discuss this in more detail later. If you lost the supply order tracker, call your nutrition services supervisor for a new one. Let's look at what each item on the supply order is. In your SOP manual at the school, under the form section in the supply ordered standard operating procedure, a blank copy of the supply order tracker form is located here. Also located in this procedure are pictures of all supplies you can order on this form. Let's walk through each supply as to understand their purpose. Bleach is to be ordered by the half gallon and detergent is ordered by the gallon. Every time you wash dishes, you use approximately two tablespoons of detergent and one tablespoon of bleach. There are 128 tablespoons of bleach per one half gallon. You only need to order bleach about every 128 workdays. Detergent can be used by custodians, pre-K staff, and latchkey staff to clean lunch tables. Pre-K staff may need a gallon to keep in their classroom, so if they ask you for a bottle of soap, you will need to order them one. Latchkey and custodians can use your open bottle. This may affect the amount of detergent you use on a daily basis. Black square 5 ounce bowls are to be used to serve many of our items, including hot and cold vegetables, canned fruit, fresh fruit, and cheese dip. There are 2,500 bowls in a case. 10 ounce foam bowls are to be used for garden side salads. They can also be used for chili. To determine how many bowls you need to order, you need to look at the menu. If garden side salad or chili is on the menu for the dates you are ordering supplies, then 10 ounce foam bowls may need to be ordered. Look at your meal order book to find out how many servings of salad and or chili is being ordered. Use that number of servings to determine how many bowls you need. For example, if you ordered 50 side salads for a menu date, you will only need 50 bowls. If there are a thousand bowls in a case, so depending on how many cases of these bowls are in your storeroom, and how many are coming in on the other supply orders, you may or may not need to order any more foam bowls. These six ounce foam cups are to be used when your school provides water jugs and cups during meal service so students can have access to water. Six ounce foam cups may also be requested by a pre-K teacher for their classroom to offer water with snack. 
Every school is different, and some schools have water fountains instead of a water jug and cups. Some schools have pre-K classrooms, and some do not. Each school uses a different amount and sizes of gloves. Nutrition Services provides gloves to those staff members working in the lunchroom, assisting students during mealtime like lunch period aids. We also provide gloves to pre-K classrooms and latchkey staff to assist students with snack. Keep all these items in mind when you are ordering gloves. You will need to order trash can liners for your custodian to use in the kitchen and in the cafeteria for mealtimes. Speak with your custodian to determine how many boxes are needed in a week. Meal kits are utensil packs. They contain a fork, spoon, straw, and napkin. Meal kits are our most commonly used supply, being used at breakfast, lunch, pre-K snack, and latchkey snack. You'll need to order enough meal kits for each of these programs at your school. All schools serve breakfast and lunch, but most schools have pre-K and or latchkey snack. Three pound food trays are to be used to serve breakfast, and five compartment trays are to be used to serve lunch. Wipe balls are used by food service aides for cleaning kitchens, but they are also used by custodians for cleaning lunchroom tables before, after, and during mealtimes. They will be used by pre-K staff and latchkey staff for cleaning tables before and after snack. There are 12 packages of 90 in a case, equaling 1,080 wipe balls total. You will need to determine how many wipe balls your school goes through on a weekly basis so you can order appropriately. It may be easier to determine how many packages your school goes through on a daily basis. Alcohol prep pads are to be used to sanitize your Smart Temps thermometer probe. You will only use a few of these pads a day. There are 200 in a box. A box will last you about two to three months. Aprons are to be worn over your uniform. They provide a barrier between your clothes and food items. Your school should use around two to four aprons per day depending on how many food service aids work at your school. There are 100 aprons in a bag, so one bag will last you a while. Band-Aids are to be ordered by the box when your first aid kit is getting low. One would use chlorine test strips when testing the three compartment sink sanitizing water to ensure that the water is 50 to 100 ppm. If the test strip is less than 50 ppm, then more bleach would need to be added. If the test strip is above 100 ppm, then more water would need to be added. Test strips should be ordered when the bottle gets low or when the bottle expiration date has passed. Two ounce clear cups and the lids for the two ounce clear bowls are to be used at breakfast for serving the hard boiled egg as shown in this photo. Cloth gloves are used to handle hot pans and hot foods. They must be washed, rinsed, and sanitized daily. Order more cloth gloves when your current gloves are ripped, torn, or lost. Your school will go through approximately two to five hairnets every day, depending on how many food service aids work at your school. If your school has two food service aids, you will use three hairnets a day, needing a new box every 33 workdays. If your school has three food service aids, you will need four hairnets a day, needing a new box every 25 days. Pan liners are used to line steam table pans when serving food that may become hard to clean up, like spaghetti, for example. Pan liners may also be used to cover leftover fruits and vegetables stored in your cooler. Each school will use a different amount of pan liners in a week. There are 250 liners in a box, so a box will last a while. Order more pan liners when your box is running low. Scour pads, also known as scratch pads, are used to wash dishes in the three compartment sink or to scrub equipment. Scratch pads should be washed, rinsed, and sanitized at the end of each day and can be used for many days. Scratch pads should only be ordered when you are running low as the package will last a while. Order soy milk for students who receive soy milk as part of a modified diet request. Your school nurse or one source operator will communicate with you if there is a student requiring soy milk. Do not order soy milk if you do not have students requiring it. Be sure to watch expiration days of soy milk. Soy milk can be kept cold or at room temperature. If you have soy milk in stock but no longer have a student who requires soy milk, the soy milk may be returned to FPC. Finally, zip ties would be ordered when the supply in your kitchen runs low. We use zip ties when we are returning food in the cold cabinets. Food items that might be returned to FPC include unopened packages of hamburger buns or tortillas, dented cans, and expired food items.